Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about fluoride toxicity and some of the symptoms of having fluoride toxicity. So one of the things that may come up in blood work could be low levels of calcium. We know that fluoride is negatively charged, and so this can sometimes deplete our positively charged ions, like calcium, another one, maybe a deficiency of magnesium could be caused by having too much fluoride in your system. Also, low glycemic index, so low blood glucose levels is an indicator as well sometimes of having too much fluoride toxicity, as well as high levels of potassium in the blood, and this is called hyperkalemia. It could be, again, related to too much fluoride. Also, in terms of the teeth, when we look at white spots and specks on the teeth, there could be yellow and brown discoloration of the teeth as well. Pitting in the teeth, so actual damage to the surface enamel of the teeth can be caused by too much fluoride, which is totally the opposite of what we have been told and what we would think about when we think about using fluoride to help to strengthen the tooth enamel. An increase in salivation, so hypersalivation, having too much saliva in the mouth is also an indication of fluoride toxicity. Difficulty swallowing can be related to too much fluoride in the body, also nausea and vomiting and just not feeling well, having abdominal pains, even diarrhea can be related to fluoride toxicity. Headaches and having chronic headaches can be related to this as well. Tremors, because it does, fluoride we know it does affect the central nervous system and our nervous system, that this is something that can cause tremors and shaking as well as heart arrhythmias in the heart and the abnormal beating of the heart. Shortness of breath as well as in women, breast tenderness. So we know that the breast tissue concentrates iodine. We also know that fluoride will displace our iodine and this is really important for not only thyroid function but for having healthy breast tissue as well and this is why women who do have some fluoride toxicity commonly have an iodine deficiency and they can experience very painful and fibrocystic breasts. So this is something again from a preventative standpoint very important for preventing breast cancer as well is to make sure that there isn't a fluoride toxicity issue. Also, when we talk about skeletal fluorosis, so this could be diagnosed and this is often difficult to distinguish from arthritis in the fact that the fluoride now is in the skeletal muscles. This can cause symptoms such as burning and prickling sensations, tingling in the limbs as well, muscle weakness and spasms, also a lot of fatigue, even chronic fatigue, GI symptoms as well in the digestive tract and less of an appetite. There could be some weight loss as well as associated to that fluoride toxicity. Now, as this progresses, this can get worse with the skeletal fluorosis and can cause stiff joints and constant pain in the bones. Also brittle bones, so especially in postmenopausal women, and this is actually from a Swedish study, we can see that postmenopausal women were definitely at higher risk of hip fracture due to the consumption of fluoridated water. So that is something, again, we're told that fluoride in our water is good for us, but is it really good for us? These are the questions that I want you to be asking yourself and be asking, you know, maybe the people that are putting the fluoride in the water. It's something definitely to do a lot more research on and for our overall health, it's something that is really important. Fluoride toxicity can also be related to changes in the blood chemistry. So anemia can be related to having too much fluoride and calcification of the tendons and ligaments also the ribs and our pelvis. Osteoporosis can happen in the long bones when we do have too much fluoride and bone spurs are very common in those who have fluoride toxicity especially around the knee it can happen around the elbows and at the surface of the tibia and the fibula so in the lower part of the lower legs so this is something that we definitely want to if we have a lot of aches and pains if we've got fluoride in our lives and we didn't know about it in 
another video I share all of the sources of fluoride so the things that you can really watch out for and what you're doing every day your daily great dental habits could be threatening your health otherwise because of the fluoride toxicity so something to definitely look into in terms of your daily routine and what you're ingesting as well which I share in another video so I hope you've got some questions and comments please do put it in the comment section below also be sure to share this video and give me a big thumbs up I truly appreciate all of your great feedback and if you're new to my channel welcome in I hope that you'll subscribe and also click that bell to turn on your notifications so you always get my newest and latest uploads and remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally thanks for watching today Thank you.